Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders and today we are going to be launching our Intro to AI in Unity series. This series is going to cover several variations of AI in Unity, including a basic AI, an intermediate AI, and a smart AI. Now, for this project, we are going to start off using several of Unity's standard assets so that everyone can follow along and recreate the project on their own. Now, we will be developing our AI using C Sharp and Finite State Machines. The finite state machine will act as our AI's brain and control decisions and, and interactions. These initial videos are going to focus on creating enemy AI in a 3D env environment. But if we get enough likes on these videos, we will expand into additional variations of AI like ally AI, environmental AI, and AI in a 2D world as well. Now let's take a look at the first AI that we are going to create, which I'm going to call our basic AI. Some people may call this a dumb AI because the AI is not going to do very much. For these projects, we're going to be using Unity 5, so if you don't already have that, you may want to go ahead and download it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my scene window, just zoom out a little bit so that way you guys can see everything, and let me increase this so that way, just increase it so that way you guys can see as much as possible. Okay, and so basically what you can see here is that I've created a really basic level. You know, I've got a floor, four walls, and several small cubes that will break up the player's sight. Another thing that you can probably see are the little red guys here. Let me just click on one of these, and I'm going to focus on that. And this is essentially our AI character for now. Okay, and so what this AI is basically going to do is walk between several waypoints. And I also have a sphere collider on here that is set to trigger so that if the player enters into the sphere, he will, the AI will begin chasing the player. So again, a really basic AI, nothing, you know, super hard to do. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do real quick is show you guys the basic patrolling that I've set up. And to do this, I'm going to go to game, click play. Okay, and I'm actually going to go back to my scene right now. And as you can see, the three different AIs that I have in this scene are essentially just moving around, moving to different waypoints. And I set that up on purpose because I didn't want them to all go along the same path. Okay, and these three AI characters will continue patrolling forever you know and we did that because I really just wanted to have them on this route and they just keep moving but you can change this up to do a multitude of different things but for this project we're just gonna focus on this initially alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and end that playthrough and I'm gonna maximize on play now because now I want to show you the basic cha chase um, mechanics that I have in here and to do that I'm just gonna press play I'm going to start moving around so that way I can get these guys to follow me. Okay, and there should be one right around this corner here. Okay, there he is. And I entered into his trigger, so now he's following me. You can see his little mohawk behind me here. And I should be able to intercept the next two almost at the same time. Yeah. Maybe a little... Okay, here we go. And now I'm just going to get this guy to chase me and this guy to chase me. Okay, so now I've got three of these AI characters chasing me. And again, this is just a really, really basic AI. So I'm gonna stop, and you'll see all three just, they're still trying to get to my position because they're not exactly there yet, so they're kind of freaking out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end that play back right there. Okay, so the next video is going to cover the creation of the AI that you just saw. Um, so get ready for some coding and some AI development. I hope that you enjoy this series. Drop us a like if you do. And as always, thanks for watching.